from an invisible voice. Hello. Hello, people out there in YouTube land. I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to talk to you about your toilets. Yeah. Just start recording already. Oh, great. <laughs> So I'm not hey, uh, hello people. Uh, what's up guys, it is Brandon from the Two Piece Random and welcome back to another podcast. What's it called again? Two Blacks. Two Blacks. Talk, talk football. Intelligent and lovely conversations. <laughs> yeah, so basically I'm just going to talk about football for about, I don't know how long it's been. It's been a few days. A few days. Is the mic on? Mic is on. <laughs> if you like to watch Paint Dry, this is the perfect video for you. Is it is alright? Should I just do you want to go with the question? Man's looking at the questions already. Exactly. I would like to know what the questions are. I'm extremely interested and in, want to know what your vibe is. To act for the young damn out there. You're gonna do this for two hours? Of course. <laughs> oh man, get man this for ten minutes. Alright. All right, um, first question. Yes. Who's going to win the Champions League this season? <laughs> that is a question. Do you know the teams are even in the Champions League? Um, no. But, but, but who's going to win it? It's probably going to be Man U, innit? Man United. Man United, it? They're not in the Champions League. Well, who's in it? <laughs> well, you know who's in the Champions League. You don't want Champions League give me some info. Who's I'm, in it? Man City. Uh, give Leon. us a choice. Man City, Leon, Bayern Munich, as you know. Uh, who else? Barcelona. It's probably Barca, innit? Innit? The, the yeah, skills were messy, mate. I think Messi's just not going to win it on his own. He's done it so far, hasn't he? Not really. He has obviously, you know, carried Barcelona, but... Well, he's, he's kind of it, upset because Liverpool done him over. <laughs> that was last so, season, though. Yeah, that was last season, but he, he won to win something this season, won't he? Who else? Uh, Bayern, people... Do you know who it was? There was a vote on YouTube saying who'd actually win it. And people, most people voted Bayern Munich. Mm. Have you seen the Bayern Munich team? It's a good squad, but... Good? Do you know how good the squad is? Yeah, but it's will they quality. deliver, mate? That is a question. Well, well, we lost 4-1 against them. But yeah, we can't yeah but your shit. team's crap, mate. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> no. Your, def- def- your defence is toilet, mate. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's just our defence. That's it. That's just all it is. Yeah, and that is a, that's a big pa- factor, isn't it? I don't if even know de- if, if you're If you're... Def- Go on, what are you saying? If your defence is crap and your goalkeeper's crap, you ain't going to win crap, are you? Do you know what it is, right? Yeah, I can see me, yeah. We just need new defenders, that's what it is. Well... Frank, Frankie boy has got the he's got the checkbook out, mate. So he's going to be buying about four or five players. So he'll be no, sorted. No, mate. but you know what it is he's buying attackers, but he's not buying like defenders. If that makes sense? Because he's got he's trying to get Harvard. He's got Ziyech Werner, mm. but I, I don't want to see Zuma and Rudiger at the club. I don't want to see them, you know, like def- defenders at Chelsea. Next season. You, you want to see him kicked out? Yeah. They're rubbish. Basically, yeah. That's why I want him kicked no. out. You'll have to you'll have to sort it out, or he's going to keep losing. <laughs> is this gin? Okay, hope it is. You want to be gin? I don't think I've watched. I don't think I've watched a podcast where someone's drunk. <coughs> I need choked on. I'm sure, mate. Did you need choked? I need choked. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I actually nearly choked on the podcast. So you, did, you didn't answer the question. The vodka was strong. You know that you never actually answered the question. He's going to the Champions League. Right. Um. What is the question again? <laughs> who's going? To, <coughs> who's going? To, who's going to win the Champions League? Um, you must be baking in the heat, you know. I'm still. Man's got the sun all over. Yeah, sweating, loves the heat. Um, I still think he's going to be Barca. Barcelona. I still think so. Joe, was it Chips that he thinks going to be Man City? All right, let's put it. Let's put it like that. It's either between Barcelona and Man City. There you I go. don't think Man City have ever won. The but they've got a dodgy defense as well, so I don't know how they're going to do it. I'm saying it's Bayern Munich, mate. Nah. I think it's Bayern Munich. It might. Be, oh, it depends on how good their defence is. Their defence is really good. Mm. They've got both. They're really experienced in it, so it's like most of like World Cup wins and stuff like that. Okay. Well, I think it's Bayern. You oh, think I, it's Barca? I think it's Barca myself. But there you go. Well, we'll see. Who's actually we'll see win. what happens. We'll see what goes on. I'm surprised your team actually lost in that Champions League. I genuinely thought you'd beat them. So did I. But I was like, raw. I was having a heart attack. To be fair, in the first but game, you actually did get screwed a bit. Well, you got more than screwed. It's there wor- you go. It was worse than that one game. Um, that club World Cup against who was it? Flamengo. Yes. Yeah, you got screwed out. so much. 
Yeah. Oh, I remember that. But, like kicking us down, you know, the manager, the, Ruff, the, the ref gives, freaking is blind as a bat. Yeah. yeah. Just gives nothing. He's like, what? Yeah, he's freaking, he's been, been paid off, obviously. Yes. Paid by the ref. Exactly. What's your next question, sir? What's uh, going on? It's going to be based on, was it? Okay, so, Bruno Fernandes, right? Yes. He scored, he's, ever since he signed for Manchester United. Yes. You can see the impact he's actually made on the top, on the club. Look, second much? attempt of a drink. I might choke again. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, by the way, we've got flies around us. So, yeah. Um, We're outside. It's unusual. Pretty much right. He's made a massive impact on Manchester United. Look at this United. flies trying to kill us. No! He's made, a man, he's made a massive impact on Manchester United. Yes. He's a central attacking midfielder. Yes. So I don't know what you could compare him to as a player. Um, mm. What are your thoughts on him? Um, he's a brilliant player. He's a good boy. Do you think that's, that's the boy Man United, Manchester United needed? A player that he need, yes. United needed? Yes, definitely. Because I can't remember the last creative player they As I said, had. I'm not a Man U fan because I'm a Liverpool fan. But... For a buy, for a player of that quality, yeah, that was a good buy. That was a very good buy. He's the nearest they've got to someone like Scholes. I saw him in the first game, I was like, okay, he's good, but I don't think he'd keep that up. And he's actually... He I've has never kept seen, it up. He's I've, brilliant. I've never seen a man... I've never seen, like, a man make such... That one man make such a massive what? impact on one club. Yeah, but they needed that, didn't they? They needed someone who could just take the ball and run out. They didn't do it against Chelsea, but, but... He does more than that. He just quits literally everything. Yeah, but that's what they need. They need a creative player. Oh, all right. Who was their creative player before? They didn't have much there, did they? I think it was supposed to be Matter, but he was too slow. Exactly. I think it was him. You know, they're going to probably get rid of him soon. Yeah, I'll probably sell him something else. Like sell him to some crappy team and then, uh, you, you know. Yeah, but Sanchez. What about him? He's permanently gone to Inter Milan. Well, oh, I'm not too surprised. So he, was, he, he was a Manchester United flop. He didn't do crap anyway, did he, really? He See, didn't even want to go there. He wanted to be at Arsenal, really, didn't no. he? He was at Arsenal, but he left to join United. Uh, he didn't really want to go, really, did he? It's the money, man. I do, yeah, it's probably the money, man. He didn't want to go. I hadn't even Hazard, was it, when he left Chelsea to Real Madrid? Obviously, it's Real Madrid, but he's been poor. Mm. Ever since he's actually like joined Real Madrid. He hasn't. He's had a very horrible start at Real Madrid. I personally think he's gone worse when he went to Real Madrid. I think he was sitting at Chelsea. Still. Are you talking about Hazard? Well, he's not the main man anymore, is he? He has to fucking... Where was at Chelsea? He, he was the one that everyone was relying on to get the goals. Yeah. Now he's at this club here now, mate. He's not the main man anymore. He's, no one's, he's, not, he's not as important anymore. Do you think there's a massive difference between, what is it, Premier League and La Liga? Well, of course. The, the Premier League is faster. You think the Liga's slow? Too slow? Yes, yeah, slow. Yeah, of course it is. Do you think that's why Messi gets past so many people? Is it because it's too slow? Ah, Messi's just a freaking genius, isn't he, mate? His footwork is amazing. Do you think if he came to Premier League, he'd be scoring as many goals? I think he would, but it would take a bit of time to adjust. Because it would be a lot faster for Messi. Yeah, it would take a bit of time, man. Because he's so used to that level of To be fair, game. it depends what team he actually joins, really, in the Prem. What team do you think? Uh, it Man would be Man be City, wouldn't it, wouldn't it? Come on. Man City. Man, is, Man City's the only one who could afford his bloody wages, mate. So you literally have to build the team around him, essentially. Come on, he's getting on as well. I think he really wants to go into management here. On this How trip. old is he now? What, 34? 30? Yeah, he wants to get into management. He wants to manage Barca. You can see it, man. When Zidane goes, mate, he'll, 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 he'll want a manager, Zidane's mate. Zidane's not the manager of Barcelona. I don't even know who the manager of Barcelona is. I can't remember who his name is. Like, to be honest, I don't, do they even need a manager? I mean, you, no, there's no, nothing going to well, win. I, I, personally think, I personally, personally think Messi's managing them at the moment. Because I don't just be a player manager. Because any decision they make, he can just override it, and they can't say shit to him. He, so he's, he's he basically has managing them now. By the balls or yeah, he he's has. Because at the other day, they know that if if he leaves, they ain't got a team. Sadly enough, in it, so it's true. It's, it's essentially like what? he owns. Who, who's I mean, who's actually DP owns it? Yeah, but who's there to take over from him? There's no one. Their no. team is crap. There's actually no one as good as him, close to him really. I think the closest to Messi. In the Barcelona team is Suarez, and Suarez is exactly. Him. And you know that when Suarez gets his payday, he's off, mate. He'll be retired and tell, tell him to piss off, mate. He won't, he won't want to take over that mantelpiece. Oh, All right, what's, what's your next question? We're going for these questions now. I, for, oh, I forgot what was, what was my first question, second question before. Yeah, what were your thoughts on Bruno Fernandes, man? Brilliant player, great buy. 
Oh, she's, at, Li- oh, she's at Liverpool. Well, you, you wish Liverpool for him? Yeah. <laughs> he's a quality player. My friend says, was it he only scores penalties? Well, he does more than that. No, he does a hell of a lot more than that. I never realised how much your, your, he does your, on the ball. Your friend's, your, your friend's diamond player. He's, 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 he's he's, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, that says it all, in it? He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, shout out to Arsenal TV. Love it. AFTV. Exactly, man. Why are you giving them a shout out? Because they're brilliant. You only like them when they open the news? Yes, they're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the next question? Um, <coughs> Alright, so, obviously now Arsenal won the FA Cup. Um, Aubameyang score, has scored yes. his 50th Premier League goal for yes. Arsenal. Yes. Right? In the time that they bought him, I think they bought him in January, the yeah. January transfer. Yeah. And they're uh, talking about, what is it, they're having discussions about what is it trying to, you know, sign a Bamiang for the next couple of seasons. Mm. A Bamiang is 30 years old. Yes. Should a Bamiang himself sign another contract he with should. Arsenal? He should, because if he leaves, Arsenal's rubbish. But do you think he's in his 30s? He won the win at the Champions League. Bigger tile, maybe a he Premier probably league. would, but it all comes down to money at the end of the day, innit? Yeah, but do you think him si- staying at Arsenal, you'll win a Premier League and you'll win a Champions League? Mm. That's a very good question. It depends if the manager sorts out the defence properly. Because Mikel Arteta, he's good. Yeah. But will they need an, they need someone else. I think owners need to back him. Yeah, they need they to. They need back to him. give him money. They need he needs backing. But then again, he's got some young players that he ain't even playing. Some of them are, are good players. He needs to take out some of the, get some of the rookies on there and start playing them. I think he has to be fair. He's played Saka, I mean, he's, he's got, played Martinelli. He's got some he's strikers up there who are just as good. You know, he needs to play them. He's played in, he plays in Ketia as well. I exactly. Good. The ones that are not doing it, get rid of them. The ones that are doing it, play them. So they can get experience. Simple as that. Anyway, yeah. But are you yawning right now? Am I boring you now? No, do I have to smash in? Do I have to smash in the face? Talk, go on. Sure. What else? Um, I don't think Ars- I don't think Aubameyang should sign. You don't Ars- think so? I think Arsenal as a club. Are you are you scared because he he'll, he'll maybe he'll be dangerous to freaking Chelsea, mate? No, do you I think so? no, he's, he was, he's dangerous to us already. He's already, he's already, he's already made us look like bollocks. What I'm listen, saying is, listen, if we went tomorrow, right? Ars- Arsenal. Jesus, there's a massive plug on. They'd be they'd be in the toilet, mate. There'd be a freaking outbreak, mate. There'd be there'd be complaints all over the place, and I can't, I don't blame them. They're paying like ridiculous of money for their season ticket, mate. Mate, pay the money and get him to stay there. Uh, if you're not going to get him to stay there, you've got to buy you got to buy someone who's better than him. You think he's better than Bamian? Yeah. I w- first thing that comes to my head is Lewandowski, mm. of where up. but these guys are old. I'm trying to think. Of Lewandowski something. ain't going to go there, mate. He, you know, he's he's. He's, he's playing where he is now for his payday, mate. He's playing for his pension, mate. And I don't think anyone would leave fucking Bayern Munich. No. Because no. Arsenal, even like but they've got young like strikers there they can play. They just need to put them in a team and get them in charge. Strikers like who? Oh, what's Nketiah. that? Young? Yeah, good. That's about it. Who else? Come on. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But he, he, he's not getting any game time, is he? Do you think Aubameyang carries the whole squad? He is at the moment, yeah. Because I, I think if it wasn't for him, they'd be in relegation. Well, all right. Tell me who's the creative player in the midfield of, of Arsenal. Arsenal. Exactly. Ozil. Yeah, and is Ozil getting the game? Exactly. And what are they saying about Ozil? They're going to have to freaking sell him to bring more players in. But I think he's, he's doing what Gareth Bale's doing. He's extending you know, his contract. Well, he's, well, not, he's, he's not extending the contract. He's trying to stay at Arsenal for as long as he wants to get as much Yeah, but money you can't blame him. It's not his fault that the freaking manager won't play him, is it? I'll the, do the freaking same him, thing myself. You see him training, but he's just not playing. Well, whose fault is that? That's the freaking manager's. The manager needs to play him. There must be a reason why he's not playing Ozil. Well, he, he says it's dis- he says it's disrespect in some kind of way. A lot of bollocks, mate. You need you need the player to be playing in the squad. I don't to think create, but he's the best creative player. Oh, they need to play him. Do you know what it is? I just don't think Ozil works hard enough. I think that's that's why. But he's always been like that. He's been like that for Germany as well. He hardly did crap, but he comes in when he's needed and he gets the goals. He he'll he pass he'll pass that ball through, and they freaking get the goal. Offensively, he's great. I just think defensively. Well, this, is a, this, is, this is a man that doesn't really like football. He's into music. His whole vibe is music. He's not really into football. But he's, he's so good at it. Huh? But he's so good at it. He does it because it pays him a lot of money. You can't blame him. 
Yeah, but it's just our oh, defensive. You can't blame him, man. Because I'm getting paid a fortune. Because I see players oh. like Mason Mount. On the ball, he's good, but defensively, he's world class because he works, he stops the press. Yeah, but come on, you know the oh, reputation is over, man. I've never seen. He's a type of player who just presses. pops up. He pops up now and again. He puts the balls through, and that's. They haven't got anyone like that anyway. Who, who have they got like that? Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal. Who, who could take his, uh, his the place? The closest is Danny Tobias. He's good on the ball, but he's not that creative in my opinion. Well, opinion. this is it. Unless I they're gonna, don't think unless, he's unless they're going to sell Ozil and buy a few creative players in that squad. That's the only way. What would you do? Would you keep him in the squad or would you sell him? Yeah, but it is right. In the formation that I would play, if, if I was playing a 4 2 3 1, yeah. he plays that cam. Yeah. I would ask him to play. If he's not working as hard as I know he can in yeah. training, yeah. I would not. I'd personally bench him. I play, play him, but he wouldn't be in the starting line. What's lineup. the point of benching him and still paying him a fortune? I'd rather just sell him and buy the player. Well, there's, there's a reason why he's worth a lot, because he puts in that kind of pass. Yeah, I wouldn't put him in the starting lineup because he doesn't defend. So you're telling me here, right? Yeah. That you keep him in the squad, even though he freaking is not doing much. That's what it is. I would sell his ass, yeah? And I would go and buy some players that will freaking work in there what? and create more. What? I'd buy a creative player. What's someone up? who's going to do the work. What player? I don't know, but that's not my. As I said, I'm not the manager of Arsenal. I'd have to do. If I was, if I was well, the manager leave, of Arsenal, so you just leave it to the scouts. Well, that's getting, that's what they're getting paid for, isn't it? Yeah, but when you say okay, I'd want someone to play, then you get the scouts to try and get. The yeah, but then again, you, the scouts do their research and you do yeah, your but research. But you have to know what player you'd like. If you think about it. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but still, it's we, like anything. Because I think you're Lampard looking, and you're Zier. looking for a young player, right? Who, who's creative? Yeah, right. Who's not going to freaking sit back and just part, let the ball go round him all the freaking time. So, that's going to take a bit of time, isn't it? Yeah, we talk about these players, right, and they're all international. I never really mentioned, I don't think we mentioned an English player. Well, this is it. Oh, yeah, what happened to all the English players? Can't we, can't we have a creative English player? I think, like, going on? Honest, I think our English team's dead, you know. What, the English team? Yeah, I think the only good player, main good player we have for me is yeah. Henderson. It's Henderson? That's our best English player. If I'm being if I'm being brutally honest, no. The the only problem that's with the English team is, is that we don't have enough creative players in the midfield. We'll keep freaking passing it round like we're passing sideways. It's either bullshit. I don't know how we lost against Croatia. We should have never lost that. I know they have good players, but I think still we should have won that. If I'm honest. Well, uh, the creative players that we used to have are freaking retired. So, but I don't understand. Why can't we take? This is what I've never understand about football. Right? You've got players like Gaza, you've got players like John Barnes, you've got players like Rooney, you've got all these type of players here, right? Alright, all right, we know they're retired, but wouldn't you employ them into your club to look for players? Because they're the guys that would know what players have got proper skills. I would employ one of them as my, as my, as my rookie, you know what I mean? Assistant managers. Exactly, not as the managers, but as people to look for talent it'd be worth it wouldn't it look at Beckham Beckham's at home he's just freaking modelling and doing crap well, no I think Beckham owns his own team and well he owns his own team I think he owns, I think he owns but, his own football company but, I think yeah but, the, yeah but the thing about it right is that wouldn't you like someone like Beckham to teach up one of your players how to freaking kill the ball well yeah but wouldn't you it just, yeah, it, but that, it'd be worth paying yeah, him the money to do it yeah but, of, but it depends on that person as well that wants to bend the ball well obviously Beckham. it would have to be someone who wants to learn you, learn like, you genuinely hit. like 100% wants to curl you know the ball yeah, yeah like exactly like, but imagine what that guy like imagine if he's a young guy and he's been taught that do you know, can you imagine how much it would be worth to your squad yeah, he's obviously no one can score free kicks like Beckham because Beckham's David Beckham oh, David but Beckham's quality yeah. I'm just saying because it depends on that individual I mean look at Gerard. He's a manager. He can take the ball and he can curl the ball into a bin, mate. Right? Like, like, I think uh, most players between can do two freaking poses, like a piece of crap. I think most players can do that, to be honest. Well, I don't know about that, mate. What's David I'm Beckham actually doing? David Beckham. David Beckham's, Beckham's managing there. freaking Rangers, mate. No, not David Beckham. That's I Stephen mean, Gerrard. Stephen Gerrard. He's the president and co-owner of Inter Miami CFC and co co-owner of Salford. Salford City. Please. Yeah, but I bet you, right? Well, he's 45 years old. I bet you, that. if England called him up and said to him, right, I want you to teach one of our, a few of our players how to, to curl the ball, yeah, we'll pay you shitloads of money to it, mate. 
that he wouldn't jump at the chance of doing it? Of course he would. Uh, but I don't he would love to be a part of the management. He maybe, should. Maybe. He should have been a part of the management. Maybe, maybe he would. To be honest, but I don't know, it's, he should have been. It's all down to him. To be honest, if he really, if he, re- if he honestly really wants to do it, he should have been on the management really. training side of, of management. He should have been there. Should have been sure. So, so Shearer, Shearer should have been there as well. So I think we were. I think we'll oh, oh, if, if he wanted to be manager of Newcastle. I miss it now. Well, but I don't blame him because Newcastle's a bit. Newcastle is a freaking disaster at the moment. It's just. Speaking of Newcastle, what's with the owners? Is that false? Is that true? Well, it ain't going to happen, is it, really? Yeah, because when he said Saudi people, I was like, what? The Saudis are gone, mate. They're not interested, mate. Because the they amount of money... I Sorry, I know they'd have to... They'd, I think whatever it is, they get a dead... They would get a dead, was it, a return on investment. They get a dead ROI. So, essentially, they may invest, what, 500 mil into the club. Yeah, but... They'll and they'll get, probably... Obviously, they'll get good players, but I think Newcastle will probably finish about, what, sixth? At least, and then no, they'll, they'll, if, get dead, yeah, but, they'll get a dead return for that. Yeah, but if we if we invested in decent defenders in that squad, right? Yeah, kept with the map, kept with the, the goalkeeper at the moment. Yeah, right. Brought in a, a more creative, a, a creative player to another creative player in that midfield, right? Mm-hmm. Then, you know, up front, all right. The wingers, my man there from France, he's quality. Same, same maximum. Yeah, he's quality. To be honest, right? the only two players I rate is same maximum and Armour. They're both quality, right? Who else? Uh, but you need a decent, you need striker. A decent striker. Joe Linton's a bit. Joe Linton's ain't really doing it, mate. He's bollocks. He's he scored, I think he scored one goal. Yeah, he's crap, man. I'll get those, rid of those guys and I'm, I'm bringing some quality strikers in, mate. Ben Teko. No, <laughs> no, I wouldn't bring in no Ben Teko, mate. But imagine, but imagine how how did our defence is. We let him score, and he hasn't, he hasn't scored in the Premier for about two years. The problem is, right, is that he's got no one feeding the ball to him properly, neither. I don't think he's getting that ball. Anyway, what's his fitness level? Ben he Tenko. always looks freaking slow, mate. Yeah, he's, just he's supposed to be a Premiership player. He looks as slow as a sail, mate. Yeah, I don't know why he's slow, to be honest. You know, what happened to the, the Benteke that was playing for Villa? What happened to him? Yeah, he was good. He was freaking, he was hungry. Benteke, mate, if you're hearing this now, mate, get yourself together, mate. You, you're playing like a lot of bollocks, mate. You're, ba- you're basically, I think... You're, you're letting the Crystal Palace fans down, mate. Fuck now. To be honest, Crystal Palace is pretty much called Saha FC. Let's yeah, honest, I know it's Saha. Basic, <laughs> FC, but it? Saha wants to leave, doesn't he? He wants doesn't to leave Crystal Palace. Does he actually? Yeah, he does. I think he does. Oh, yeah, was it? They do. He does, but Will Hudson saying that like, like, Will oh, Hudson saying he's, he's worth what over 100 million or something. Yeah, you can't let you go. Because he knows people won't pay that know, for him. Yeah, because so they know, they know he that he's the freaking stay. team. That's why. They know he's the team. If he goes, their team is crap. All right. Wait, where's the quality players in that squad? Really? Who, who can do what he can do? Well, Crystal Palace. Yeah. Jordan Ayew. That's about it. Jordan Ayew. He's good, but not Zaha level. Oh, man. You know who he is. Yeah, I know you too. Yeah. Right. But at the end of the day, mate, that team there needs a freaking rehaul. The defence needs, well, you've got the French defender there, but apart from that... So you're saying the same was it, Wolford? I think it, Zaha, generally, he wants to go to Arsenal. Yeah, because he's a big fan of Arsenal, isn't he? Is he a fan of Arsenal? Yeah. He's a big fan of Arsenal. Because he's because always wanted to go to Arsenal. Well, because the fellas just genuinely just want no, to No, they don't go. want him to go, man. They want big money for him. I think that would be good though. I think, why is it? Pepe. Well, he went to Man U and he didn't make it there, did he? They didn't give him a chance. Do you know, do you know what I think would be good? Pepe, why is it? Aubameyang and Zaha. I don't think Lacazette. I think Lacazette is good, but he can do more. I think Lacazette is. I would sell Lacazette. You sell Lacazette? He's good, you know. And put Zaha in his place, mate. So Lacazette's good, you know. He can bangs and goals. Okay, he mate. just doesn't I'll work hard enough. He, he doesn't put enough goals in, mate, for, a, for a striker now. You don't put enough goals I in? I think Saha would do a much better job. Transfer him into a striker, mate, I think he would be better. What, bang in the centre on the left? Because Aubameyang plays on the left, but I think Aubameyang is better centre forward, if I'm honest. No, oh, just swap him around in the right positions, and I think it would do, do freaking wonders for that squad. I don't know why they say Aubameyang's a left wing forward. I've always seen him as a centre forward. Oh. If, if I'm being honest, as long as he puts the goal in there, I don't really give a toss, mate, where he plays, mate. A bit mad. All right, what's your next question? I don't even know. This is 2021. Season. Oh, this is the new Chelsea coming out. William and Pedro have bid emotional farewells to after leaving Chelsea. Yeah, Pedro's going to Roma. Um, well, his time's up, mate. Come on, he's past it now, anyway. Yeah, but I don't want Wolves to win, by the way. They're against was it? I think tonight in the Europa League. They're against what? Sevilla. Are they relegated Wolves? No, Wolves, Wolves are the like what, six third. Are they still six? They, I think they're sixth or fifth. Who they got up front for them? Raheem Jimenez. 
and was I think I've done my Basically, they're in the Europa League. They're against what? Uh, they'll, probably they're against, win it. they'll probably win it. They're against a team that have won the Europa League what five times. Um, if they win the Europa League, Wolves, which hopefully they don't, um, well, they, they take off fourth Champions well, I'm League hope, spot. I'm hoping for them to win because I like to see you cry. Oh, that's what. <laughs> oh, waste, man. See this guy here. Absolute waste, man. I don't want Wolves to win anything. I have no supportive bone in my in my in my body for Chelsea. Man. Just because Gerard's I'm, I'm just to show you. I'm just letting you know. It? I'm just letting you know. What's that? We're champions. Yes, I know. We made you champions. Remember that. William. William made you Liverpool supporters champions. Ah, uh, but we're champions. And that's what counts. Just, just let you know. Just let you know. Anyway. Next question. That's, that's just the second question. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, yeah, the frick, uh, so, what is the third question? Uh, pretty much, so obviously, with this whole COVID-19 thing. And, um... Thinking about how you know how with the football games and everything like that, yeah, where fans haven't aren't, aren't allowed to enter. Uh, you know how football teams, when the fans are really behind them, they start to play. I said they start to play better and they start to have more energy. Yeah, when you know cause if someone's supporting you, right? Yeah, but then you have more energy. Yeah, but then again, right? Don't forget, right? Is that if we have big groups of people watching the matches, this disease is going to spread around even more. It, that means more lives are going to be lost. So at the moment, if we have to freaking stay in or not be able to see the match and watch it on, or watch it on our TVs and whatever, that's the best thing well, to do. do you is think, it? When do you think it will end? Or that's the thing? I don't have a clue, mate. You know, you got China saying they got a queue. You got Russia saying they got a queue. You got America saying they got a queue. They're saying that we've got a queue. England's got a queue. Who's telling the truth, mate? We'll just have to wait and see. You I know, they could be all bullshitting. We don't know. I just don't think it will ever end. To be honest, it will end. But yeah, who but will find the queue yeah, first? But, yeah, but if I'm honest with you, right? I think even, let's say, 10 years down the line, there will still be bits of COVID-19. If yeah, well, honest, it won't be large amounts as, it were, as it's been in the past three months. Yeah. But I still feel as though, you know, there will be a lot, like... Well, know, it'll during, pop up from here to there. But hopefully, pop up here to there. But hopefully we'll have a cure and heard, we'll be able to stop it. Was it pubs and cafes are closing to let in, what, primary school kids and everything like that? Oh, it's education, isn't it? Yeah, that's, but with kids, that's the I main... don't think... I don't That's think what the politicians kids, are focusing on. With the kids and everything like that, I don't think you can't really social distance with them. I think them, you know, connecting together, them, you know, playing games with each other, them social yeah, distancing each other. I still I think don't think it's a good idea that the kids are going into school, but it's just how it is. So it's the primary schools. I know it's about maths, English, and your grades and everything like that. Yeah, but yeah. to me, it's about making friends, communication. That's pretty much what I think it is. Well, you know that a lot of school. parents are doing homeschooling now as well. Aren't they? They're getting yeah, but that's dead, though. homeschooling on the computers. Yeah, but that's dead, though. Yeah, it may be it's dead, but it's better than nothing, It's good it? homeschool on computers, but, like, I think it's better if they're in a classroom with the kids because they can talk to them. That's how you make friends, really. If I'm being honest with you, that's how you make friends. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, Plus, yeah, but on you can't do that if you've got freaking disease, mate. It's, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? You'd be there sitting with your friend, and the next minute you, your friend's got the disease and then yeah, but you, you don't know if that person's going to live or die it's a, it's a freaking you know I wouldn't, I wouldn't even pass it on to them that's madness yeah but you're not going to homeschool them forever are you? I know, no you can't obviously we're all waiting for a, a, a but this cure could take three years down the waiting line waiting for a cure that's what we're waiting this for really this could take three years down the line it could t- I reckon it'll take a year and a half really to issue. year and a half yeah, I reckon I so. think we pretty much open things too early if I'm honest I mean the thing that scares me the most is Christmas time because that's gonna be so much mate. Stuff. When it's when it's cold, I think, I, I think it'll be I think it'll be done by then. I, I hope so. But if it starts to snow and crap, everyone's gonna be inside. You don't want to. Mate, that's the worst time because it'd be spreading around between think your it'll, family. It'll be cold in December. I don't think I haven't really experienced a Christmas where it was snowing. Well, have you? Yeah. What do you mean? Experience a Christmas where it was snowing. You know when it was snowing. Not on recently, Day. but I've never. It's just because the, the the world is kind of warmed up, but you never know. We, it could happen. Now, this is like we're in August and the season's season usually we start in August, but now it's in September. It's been starting like three weeks now. Yeah, but what do you feel about that? Because obviously the transfer I, market I, uh, is to having me, to start. To me, not, they're not they're not really getting a really long break. But you have to. They've go had a, the they've market. had a long break through this whole COVID thing, really. You they've reckon? Been, they've been at home, but I don't think they've been training harder as they would, you know. Mm. To be fair, it's been dead because with the break, they haven't been able to go on holiday or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, They've literally yeah. had to stay inside. So, if anything, but it's still, in a way, though, it's a break. You're inside. Uh, yeah, it's a break. Relaxed. But as a footballer, back in the day, a lot, yeah, but a lot, of, players used, a lot of players used to, didn't used to take a break. They used to play 
constantly keep playing and keep themselves in yeah, keep themselves in shape. Yeah, that, that's probably just for next season, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Well, what's your what's your next question? Well, I didn't even I didn't even ask like the actual third question. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask those people that are sleeping. Hello. <laughs> yeah. What is it? What are your thoughts on empty football games? So not like you know football games, you know, with empty stadiums. Yes. Do you think that has a massive effect on the team? Um, yes, because, you well, know... Was well, that, oh, that was a ladybird. You, you're Go freaking on. out over it now. That was a ladybird. Anyway. People that can't see the flies, there's flies around us, all right. There are flies around us, so... At the end of the day, yeah, all right, the players respond better to a crowd. It's as simple as that. If a player's playing crap, we can always boo that player until, and he'll want to get up and play for you better. It's stronger. You know, with Aston Villa? Yeah. I thought they were going to get relegated because their fans weren't there. Trust me, I'm happy that Aston Villa is still in the Premiership. Freaking delighted about it, right? I, I, I thought. But I do think they need to freaking get rid of their manager because, yeah, all right, he scraped him through this, but he's bollocks, man. He's rubbish. Don't you? What do you think? It's the manager, not the players. The manager is rubbish. The defence is absolute toilet. I would change the defence. I'll keep the goalkeeper. Keep all the other players. Bring a creative, a creative player in the what midfield. Players keep him. Put him going to that, mate. But I, do you know? I keep. Keep Jack Grealish. Yes. Trezeguet. Yeah. El Ghazi. Well, Trezeguet's gone. They've got. The, they've already got rid of Trezeguet, haven't they? You said they got rid of him. They've got rid of him. They sold him to another club, which to Villa. me, I think he's freaking they ridiculous. Sold him. Yeah, they've sold him. Sure. He's been transferred, mate. They sold Trezeguet. No yeah, they've sold him, mate. Trezeguet. Trezeguet. The geezer that scored him the goal. Yes, the geezer that scored him the goal to get in the Premiership, and the Premiership have scored him the goal to stay in the freaking Premiership, mate. Him in, in freaking Greenish, mate. So Greenish is still there, but so Trezeguet, Trezeguet scored the first goal. He's an goal. Egyptian professional footballer who, has, who plays as a midfielder for Premier League club Aston Villa. That's what it says. Well, the rumours going around that he's leaving. Which he's leaving. I, I don't think he should be leaving. I think they should be freaking double his wages, mate. Because he's saved Aston Villa's arse so many times, it's ridiculous. Um, and anyway, um, how come he doesn't get a regular uh, game in the team? I think mate? he's used as a super sub of him. No, oh, forget that crap. Put him in the squad. Let him play, man. He's a good player. You think? Look, he's a mate with Salah, right? Mm-hmm. If Salah thought he was crap, he wouldn't even be talking to him, mate. His, his skills are nearly on the level of Salah. He's but nearly not... as good as Salah. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I say he's good, but not on the level mate, of Salah. Salah's listen, different. He's Sa- saved. Salah's it, different. I he's good say enough he's... for Villa, mate. He's, he's freaking saved him so many times. Yeah, but I wouldn't say he's as good as Salah. He's good enough for Villa. To be honest, anyone's good enough for Villa. <laughs> Let's be honest. If you can defend, pass the ball, and shoot, you're. Well, when they've asked, I don't, to, I don't know what. When, when they've asked him to come up yet, he saved their ass so many times. It's ridiculous. Him and Greenish, mate. Gre- Greenish, man. Like Greenish, really. Expensive. I don't know Greenish. what's going on with the strikers side. Greenish, mate. Just they brought a new striker into Villa. He's hardly played. They had a few new players that they brought on in the Bloody match. Oh, look at that. A few new players, a young guy that they brought on in the match, which I would have brought on in the freaking first half for the first place. He wouldn't be no freaking reserve. He would have been. He he come on there and he changed the whole game. What was the game? Who is it again? West Ham. No, I'm talking about Villa. Yeah, on the last day. Yeah, they brought this young lad on. I can't remember his name. And he literally changed the game for him. He was brilliant. I forgot. I don't know how long that was. I know Greenish scored. They brought on um, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Our. What's his name? I don't know what his name is. Is it Our something? El Ghazi. Is that his name? I can't remember. Jessica. I don't even know. No, he's. Something like that. But anyway, they brought him on and put on the young lad and played brilliant, man. There's players like that you should be having up in your first squad, playing in your first. He should be playing the bloody time. I forgot what his name this is why the manager, in my in my opinion, is rubbish. Dean he does, Smith. He doesn't know what he's doing. Who do you think should stand to be in charge of you got you got John Terry right there, mate. He would have sought out the defence. He would have got rid of those freaking defenders that are there because he knows they're crap. Yeah, but what defenders would he bring in? If I do not know, but, but <laughs> I think he would have done a better job than this manager at the moment. To tell you the truth, I think anyone could do a better job than this manager at the moment. Anyone? He's, he's freaking scraped through, mate. I think Rafa should be manager. Rafa wouldn't go there, mate. <laughs> Rafa wouldn't go there. No, Rafa wouldn't go there. No, bro, he wouldn't stop. It depends on the chairman. We know the chairman is minted. Is he prepared to get the checkbook out and pay big, spend big money for one of, yeah. uh, one of them if they got a new manager? That is the question. Oh, yes, yeah, that's the truth. I wouldn't, me personally, as a chairman, I wouldn't put a penny behind this manager. He's, I don't think he's good enough. I think he's just been lucky. I mean, how can you have a manager who comes in there, right, remember, 
the, he's the, got them to the league. Yeah, though. but what he did was freaking stupid because, right, the players that were there that got him to the Premiership, yeah, he got rid of most of them. How could you do that? Even he, the rookies. Because he believes, all right, okay, thank you for getting me to the, the Premier League, but your championship players, I need Premier League players to stay and progress in the league. It's rubbish, man. If if that thinking there is complete toilet, right? Because at the end of the day, yeah, right? But to be fair, it's if stupid. people had done the same thing to people like Lineker and Shearer, they wouldn't be in the Premiership now. Remember, they came from that same type of league, you know. And they developed and became world-class players. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's rubbish. Put John Terry in there, mate. Turn the piss off. I don't, I'd actually like to see John Terry, man. Without yeah, I think, he, I think he'd be I'd brilliant. I'd actually like to see that. I think he'd be brilliant, mate. Well, if they don't get John Terry, get someone who's an experienced manager who's, who's willing to give the youth there a try, mate. And not put him in stupid positions. Look, look, he's sticking greenish on the freaking wing, mate. He he was more, the yeah, but he's more effective in midfield. Yeah, he's more effective in the midfield. He was dangerous in midfield. But players are scared of him, mate. But they, they run play, to him. But they play him on the wing for some reason. I think he's mad. I personally mate. think it's stupid, but it he doesn't know what he's doing, mate. Not a freaking clue, mate. The reason why I'm, I mentioned was it, I asked that question is because with Aston Villa, the fans are like what the twelfth man because yes. you know how they play like basically with other fans they play like wank, but yeah. with the fans there. Yeah, they did. You know when they sing that chant, you feel, yeah, 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 yeah. They sing, you know, because they chant. Basically, the football fans that chant and everything like that, they know that their team's the worst. Yes. Let's be honest, and they need the support. Whereas with actually, no, with Liverpool, they still chant, they still chant, you, you know, your players. But like I'm saying, with big Premier League teams, they don't really need that much support. Yeah, but, but with you small know, you, teams, you know that, you the know fans that, make a difference. You know that the Villa fans, right? They're gonna give their players. A, when they're there, they're making sure they can play, man. They give them a super yeah, kick of the arse. Yeah, but even the fans. You have to admit, when they put in effort to like, support their team, yeah, that shows a lot. Of course, because any even they, even well, that don't get me wrong. The, the, fan, the Villa fans, they love their club. You can't blame them for that. They love their club. Even though, even though they know how shit their players are. Well, yes, exactly. But you still, they're still there. They're proper supporters because they they love their club, and you can't blame them for that. God knows how much they pay. I don't know how much a season ticket is. I don't know how much a season. I don't see let's go to a game. You know, at the end of the day, you got to respect them. We should go to a game because they respect their players. You go to a Villa game. Um. No, not really. You're there for food, isn't it? Unless, unless, unless the Liverpool team's there, mate. That's the only time, mate. You'll be there for the pie, man, I'll be there for the pie mash, mate. You'll be there, mate. <laughs> Everyone's and in the ground and you're just eating and, the food. And, 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 and the, uh, you know, the, if they do... Mate, I don't think they do kebabs, but... Every, mate, I'll be there for the pies, mate, and I'll be there for the burgers, mate. Everyone, me, mate. Everyone's cussing off the ref, and you're just like... Oh, it's a lovely burger, mate. Can we get some chips, mate? Is that, can, we we some, can we get some coke? Let's see, you're like, what are you, what are you not shouting for? What's the Lord about? What did he score? <laughs> he goes, did we score? We're three nights out. Do you want those chips, mate? <laughs> That's all man cares. Do, Do you want that several eye? I can take that several Man's got the several eye in his hand. He's watching the game. Do you want the chips? Oh, what? Right. It's gone round me now. No, it's gone now. It's gone. Bring it out, mate. We're, get, we're getting attacked by a wasp. See, what we, do, see right what we do for you guys. We're right in the deep, 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 deep jungle. Getting right touched up and stung by see, flies. See, we're sacrificing ourselves. Be stung. Like this video. Make sure you click the subscribe button as well. Yeah, we want 10k, mate. 10k on that video. Mate. 10k likes. 10k likes, mate. Yeah. 10k likes. And if you've got the cash, I'll take that as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to say, uh, what is it? Um, when's your video coming out? When you going to upload it? Oh, my video? Well, I'm taking a few years to take that video out, mate. <laughs> it's a special, special thing. Base. close to my heart. It'll be out soon, mate. Don't worry about it, mate. Well, I'll put your link in the description. So, check out his vlog. Yeah, check out my vlog, yeah. Are you going to be vlogging? Fascinating. Nah, it's pure bollocks, but it's alright, mate. Like, the two people that are going to watch it, nice. <laughs> but then, you know, if I can get 10k, nice. You people probably watching it because you like watching paint dry. But it's alright, it's cool. I don't even know. What question am I on? Hold on. I've, I don't know, I've, mate. I've, I've, I've asked. I don't know, you're the questioner. I don't know. There's so many questions I've asked. It's your, it's your vlog, mate. Guess oh, guess it's, your, it's your, mate, it's your freaking real interview, mate. I don't know, guess mate. Guess how many questions I've asked. What, two? No. What, three? Keep going. Four? Keep going. Five? Keep going. None? I've only... <laughs> I've asked two questions. Well, there you go. That's it. <laughs> and that's the longest bit! So, so, how, so how long... Uh, what's, the, what's the next question? How uh, long do you... How, is it, how many days is this video going to be, mate? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I've asked four, I've asked four. I've asked them in the wrong order on. Um... I was Bob. here... Uh, in 2002. With Barcelona. I was a young man. <laughs> with Barcelona. Be the same without Lionel Messi. No chance. What's that was? Because, because he's too much quality for them, mate. Without him, they're crap, and we all know it.
That's my mom. <laughs> without yeah. without them, without him in that squad, they're crap. And honest truth, I tell you the truth, I reckon he's going to be manager of Barcelona. Oh, yeah. and, and I reckon he'll look for someone to replace him. I don't think they're crap. I just don't think they're as good. They're rubbish, man. I, I won't say they're toilet. I just want to think. I, I just want to say they're as good. Come on, come message. on. Look, look. When he's not in the team, they can't score for shit. I understand that. No, no, no. They can't. No, they can score. They're just not as good without him. They don't well. get as many chances without him. Yes. All right. I did this out. Don't worry. So anyway, um. Yeah, pretty much. I think they're good, but they're they're not the best without mm. Messi. Mm. I still feel this they can they still score goals, but not a lot. Yeah, but they, they'll be crap, man. They'll be in the likes of AC Milan, mate. They'll go down to that level, mate. What actually I mean, happened to AC Milan? They were such AC a good Milan team. used to be a quality but team, now but just, now they're just toilet. Well, they had Kaka, they had Sadov, they had. Nah, they they spent big and they, they still had, ended up rubbish, man. I think Ibra's still at AC Milan. I don't even know. Oh my god, there you go. Well, guys, this is my was it face mask. This isn't sponsored, so yeah. What's it even called? Do you know what? I'm not even going to sponsor. I'm not going to say. Are you going to come yeah. up with your own merch soon? Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Good. I just don't know when we're actually going to do it. If we need to well, you see yet. that. If you want these merch to come out soon, load of likes, mate. Load of likes. 10k likes in this podcast. Nah, nah, forget 10k, mate. Oh, I, want, I want 25k, mate. 25k That's what I want. 25k is what I want. 100, 100 people watch the video, man. You're going to get like, what, 10 likes? Well, I'll get two, but there you go. <laughs> it's it's better than nothing, same, it? It's better Probably than one old guy in a... Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a like. <laughs> 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 I'll give you a like. I'm seeing my full teeth. There you go. Oh, God. Open, a, open a mail. This guy sent me his full teeth. He's taking the piss. Well, there you go. I think Messi, obviously, without Messi, they won't be the same, but I think they'll still be... I think they're crap, mate. Or you just think all together they'll be bollocks? Yeah, I think they'll be bollocks. I think so bollocks. they want. You think Real Madrid will, will, will rule La Liga? Yeah, I think, they, I think they'll kick their ass, mate. Basically, too. Yeah, Generally, so because only two main competitions in La Liga: it's Barcelona and Real Madrid. So I don't know, man. I think Barcelona they'll be good, mm. but without Messi, they'll just they'll be average. Yeah, they? man. It there won't be any quality there, mate. Come on. We watch. We watch. To be honest, half, no, half let's the be people tr- watch. Let's them. be honest, right? Yeah. We watch them because of Messi, mate. Because he's just a natural player, mate. He's got natural skills. When he's doing something, he he just does it like you know. He's 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 not freaking, you know. He's not doing it because he he practices. Obviously, he practices, but he practices it's just off the cuff, mate. He just he's amazing. He's a brilliant player. I don't mate. think I don't think all of it's. Na- I think obviously uh, it's a natural th- ability, mate. Yeah, no, but on. I think I think though he's been, been practicing from young. That's why. He's well, he's been there since he was fourteen, mate. I mean, Maradona took him under his wing, mate. Come on. If Maradona thought he was crap, he wouldn't have taken him on, would he? Pretty much, yeah. He said it all, mate. He knows that he's the next guy to take over. I don't even know how old Messi is, you know. I don't don't know, but all I know, mate, is that, you know, as time goes on, mate, he ain't got much time you're going to have him for. So, we might as well enjoy him as we've got him there, you know what I mean? Pretty much, yeah. So, what's your next question? Break down, break down, break down. Right, that's right. You can break down. <laughs> I, can, I can edit all of this out. Oh, do you know how long it's going to be to edit this out? Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, we'll be there for two days. Uh, it's going to be me and you editing out, you know? I need to use the toilet. There you go. <laughs> it's going to be you and me editing this out. Oh, that's all right. Do that, right? That's all right. All right, what's the next question? I was actually typing in another question, but I know what it is. Oh, what is it? Oh, what, what is it? So, obviously now, Virgil van Dijk, your team spent 75 million on him. Yes. And ever since he's joined Liverpool... He has improved your defence massively. Obviously, you had that season where the only reason why you didn't win the league mm. is because you drew too many games. Yeah. This season, you won it. And you said to me, where is it? What Liverpool need to do mm. is sign a defender that is as good as Van Dijk. Yes. But I said to you, what defender is close to Van Dijk? So, my question to you is, what defender should be what should be there with it? Is the closest to Van Dijk? Do not know, mate. I know there's a defender called De Ligt at Juventus, which is really good. He's a very good centre back, but I just don't believe he will actually come to Anfield. Well, I have another question on the Juventus part, but God, I just want to know. Well, it's down to Klopp in it to really, you know what I mean? I mean, Van Dijk, 
Oh, what an insight from Klopp, mate. He saw the quality in the man. When everyone's saying, oh, he's not worth that money. People didn't want to pay 75 No million. one wanted to pay 75 million. He bought him. I think the man's tripled his freaking I think, price rate, mate. I think he's we, brilliant. I think we were going to pay it, but we just delayed it. Well, that's your loss, mate. Uh, I think he's freaking brilliant, mate. I think it's, that is a freaking genius buy. And if you notice, as soon as he comes to the squad, the squad changed, mate. The squad was more dependent. Yeah, the defence was more solid. It was solid. And then he did another brilliant buy. He went and bought the freaking goalkeeper, the Brazilian goalkeeper. Alisson, yeah, he's been remarkable. What, what are signings, mate? He's the, what, 97 rated. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, all we need now is another defender to back up Van Dijk. Because obviously Van Dijk, he hasn't had a break, really. So you need someone there with in case if Van Dijk breaks down, you've got someone to, to step into his shoes and still keep going or even play with him. Do you know what I mean? So, but, but as far as I'm concerned, I think Klopp, that is freaking genius. But it depends genius what's... Genius buying. Mate. What it is, it depends what centre-back Liverpool can actually get that is as close to Van Dijk. Well, so long for Oh come on, Lovren was a good player, but he made a lot of mistakes as well. Yeah, and you can't. He was. You can see that the back four wasn't dependent on him. Mate. I think what you play Gomez and Van Dijk at centre back. Gomez or you, or you is a good player when he's not play, freaking. When he plays centre back, massive. one Gomez. I think he's a good. I think he's. You just but he ain't. Of him on but he ain't. He ain't at the level of Van Dijk, mate. That's the truth. He doesn't see danger as good as Van Dijk does, and you need someone who can. Apart from having the speed, that can read the game brilliantly. Essentially, yeah, he reads exactly. It, he reads it you well, need right, another yeah. one who's as close as Van Dijk. I'm sorry, but that's true. But does that mean saying you need someone who's as close as Wayne Rooney? Well, yeah. He was the closest to Wayne Rooney. English, English player. Closest to Wayne Rooney. I think on a on a, on a goal scoring level, to me, it's Jamie Vardy. But he's retired from international, which nah, is actually it's, it's not Vardy, mate. I'm sorry. I was annoyed that I'm Jamie looking Vardy at retired goal from scoring ability football. and dribbling ability. And Jamie Vardy can dribble. He's not the best dribbler, but he can he can dribble. The, the, the only person that I thought that Rooney was nearer to was was uh, Gaza. I knew you were going to say Gaza. It was Gaza, man. And when have we had another player like Gaza? I, I mean, come on, think about it. How come Gaza's sitting at home? Uh, I know he's got a drink problem, man, but come on. I don't think... What if he doesn't want to manage for the English? Oh, you've what got if he to doesn't convince want to help him, man. Convince him. What if he doesn't want to do it? Let him take the young youths, the young kids, mate, and, yeah, and train with him, mate. What, what if he doesn't want to train? He's brilliant. But what if he doesn't want to train? Well, there you go. You don't know, mate. He hasn't been asked, has he? How do you know he hasn't been asked? Well, I don't How know. Do you, I don't know. How do you know that? But, you know, haven't, haven't, you but know, there's other players. Gone on the FaceTime to him I mean, on the WhatsApp. Look, him. look at Waddle. I what, mean, he's Waddle? had... he's I mean, had Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle, Hoddle, yeah. He's had a heart problem at the moment. But I look at uh, Tissier. How Ma- come players like Ma- that? Matt Letizier? Matt Letizier. How come he's sitting at home, mate, freaking... You know, why, why do you always like that? Why do you think they're saying that? Oh, because they're quarantine. That quarant- is that quar- it's quarantine time. I mean, he's doing quarantine for Sky. But yeah, you know, come on, I would, I'd have him training up players, mate. Well, P- what about he's- Peter Crouch? Well, Peter Crouch as well. <laughs> Peter well Crouch. Why is he fucking doing his TV program? I want him. I want him to train up the youth, would mate. You ra- would you rather train up England or, or do your own own was show? Would I? Would you rather train up the England England players or do your own show? I train the England players you every day. You, you tell me you ditch your show. Yes, of course I would. No, I wouldn't ditch my show. Especially if it's getting rains. If it's just Listen, getting rains, right? you can ditch it. Everyone wants to have the best of both worlds. If you can do both, it would be lovely. What if you can't do both? But if I had to just do one, if you had to choose I'll between, do the freaking England. If you had to choose between managing you, them, for England. Yes. And making your own show, which is probably getting you more ratings. Yes. And you get more money from it. Yes. Than you are training the England boys. You tell me you train the English bo- England boys. Yeah. Over the, do you know how good it is to have your own show? It's nice to have your own show, <laughs> but hopefully, you know, at the end of the day, you want to have both if you could. But at the end of the day, if I had to train the younger English youth, yeah, I mean, it's a matter of time until the money will come in for English. Youth, I try and get guests. I, if I, I was Peter Crouch, I'd be like, oh, one, one fucking train the youth. Peter Crouch, mate, is look. You 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 even watch him in his program. He's even doing he's kick-ups. For England. He's doing kick-ups with with, with uh, Red Nap and those guys. He's still got the freaking skills, mate. Well, yeah, to be honest, they're, they're old, but you don't use your skills. Probably. His skill level is freaking there. We got kids that don't can't even freaking pass the ball straight. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, talking about young kids that can't pass the ball, they can't control the ball. You bring in someone like that who shows them how to control and it shows them how to score. Good Why not? That's Mason Greenwood knows how to do it. Yeah, I know that, but you telling me that someone like with the experience of of Peter Crouch wouldn't make that player a better player? Probably, no, it would dep- no, no, it depends. Of course, he would. No, it depends what position. 
No, but he would. Okay, so if a young player wants to play at centre back, Peter Crouch was a forward. You're telling you me Peter think, Crouch is going to make that player back? You don't think Peter Crouch has played in more than one position? Well, when's Peter Crouch played at centre back? Oh, yeah. I, re- I, I bet you that he was. When he was at. Um, when he was at. Uh, what do you call it? Actually, he could because he's lanky. But I mean, like, was it. Um, mate, okay, what about. I'm sure that he, I've heard that he was at a, 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 a club. Not in the division where he played in out of position. He wasn't. He was. He wasn't always a striker. What was he? He was playing in defence or midfield. Defence. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, because probably because he's a lanky. So but you they know. Come up front because. He played him up front because you can cross a ball to him, and he, no one else, unless you're a freaking giraffe. Giraffe. Was it giraffe? Giraffe. giraffe. Unless you're a giraffe, you, you ain't gonna get to the ball better than him, are you? You could probably be pretty close on head. Um. Who? Harry Maguire. I'm joking, Harry Maguire. Oh, you, do you think Harry Maguire was worth 90 million? Harry Maguire. Who did he play for again? Remember when Harry Maguire played for Leicester City and now he plays for Manchester United? Oh, England yeah. centre back, yeah. I mm. think he's not worth 90 million, is he? Nah, it's not I think it's just too much hype, if I'm honest. No, nah, he's not worth that type of money. Imagine, they paid, you paid 75 million for Van Dyke. Yeah, he was worth it, though, mate. Man United paid 90 million for Maguire. And they, and they, they scraped top four. Well, I don't know, you know. He can be. He was good. He was a good defender, but is he worth that up? No, nah, he's, he's, he's not worth that. I think he's all right for England. Oh, he's not worth that, man. That's good. I think he was good for think about England. He's not worth that type of money, man. What do you actually think happened in the Euro, in that Euros? Or how we actually lost against Croatia? I'm so shocked at how we actually lost against them. Well, I don't know. I think to tell you the truth, the because we didn't. You said you were. Crying out for a creative player. You it's said nothing, that. It's nothing creative in that midfield, is it? Yeah, it's just like, passing like, around like, 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 we, like we didn't have ju- We didn't have people like John Joe Shelby with Jack Wilshere in that midfield. Why is Jordan Shelby not in the midfield? I do I not know. I think he gets vexed too easy. He, he maybe he does, but that's up to the manager to say to him, listen, don't freaking lose, lose I think your ball. I think he still plays for Newcastle, to be honest. Yeah, but he should be playing, man. Players like that should be playing. We're, all the creative players, you should... It should be about four different creative players you've got to pick from. Four. Not just him, yeah. This is what I don't like about England, right? <laughs> we, we freaking go too freaking defensive in the midfield and there's no one that can pass the ball and create anything. We've got you, Henderson. You, yeah, Henderson, yeah. Henderson's a good player. He's developed, he's turned into a quality remember player. Remember when you said, remember what... This, yeah, uh, ladies yes, and gentlemen, listen oh, to me. Go, oh. Listen to me, right, all right. I said here to him, go. all right, I said, who's our best player in the midfield? Who's our best creative player? He said, he said, as a Liverpool fan, we need another creative player. And I said, Henderson. And he goes, Henderson's all right, but he's not like Gerrard. Henderson doesn't pass the ball like Gerrard. Henderson doesn't control the ball and like was he doing Gerrard. It, was he, excuse me, was he doing it at the time? No. No, but I said to him, no, I said no. In a way, he was. No, he wasn't. Yeah, when he you, wasn't doing that it That season when you bought Van Dijk, he was good. But he turned out, he tu- he tu- he, in the end. He was he, good last season. In the end, he proved me wrong. He, right? why, why, no, but he was good last season. He only proved you wrong this season. He was saying, like, he was yeah, good but last in season. the end, I knew proved, he was good last season. In the end, he proved me wrong because he lifted up his game to a level of what Gerard is. Listen, people, listen. And he kept it there. So, you know, listen. I was bad mouthing him. I take it back. He's a quality listen, player. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, and I knew. I know that now, right? He's so important to our squad. It's just ridiculous. Joe, you know it is, right? My friend said to me, he said to me, what is it? Who's good? Sadio Mane. He said, I, said, I said, who's the best player in Liverpool? Mm. My friend said, Sadio Mane. My other friend said Salah. Mm. I said Jordan Henderson. They laughed. And I said, why are you laughing? And they said, Jordan Henderson, he's all right, but he's not the best player. And I said, all right. Well, he is now. Who, who's, like the, who's the captain of the team? Who brings in... It's not just if you're a good footballer, you've got all the flips and tricks. Yes. It's your quality as a player. Yes. How, you know, you develop it's a team. It's consistency. Your leadership skills. It's consistency. Why do you think, well, when Cristiano Ronaldo, he was more than just a good player. Mm. He brought energy to the team. He improved... Every single yeah, person that was around for, him. Don't, don't forget, yeah. No, but haven't you noticed ever since Ronaldo's left, yeah. Juventus hasn't been as good. I mean, they got knocked out against Man City. Yeah, well, they, <coughs> they depended too much on him as well. If Ronaldo was there, they would have won that. They defended, they did, yeah, they would have won it, but they depended too much on him. This is what I don't get. They get these players in, but they depend on too much. Who else was scoring goals in that squad? Benzema. You know, but who else was lifting up the spirit of the squad? It was just Ronaldo. To be it was just Ronaldo. So when he went, they were kind of screwed. It's now it went on to Benzema to try and do it now. Speaking of, was it you know uh, Ronaldo 
and Juventus. Speaking of that, this, leads, this actually leads on to my next question. Yeah, yeah. What is it? All right. Um, I'll go to my notes. All right. Um, so Juventus, they got knocked out of the Champions League. Mm. I forgot who they got knocked out of the Champions League. Well, I think it was was it Leon? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was Leon. It was Leon, wasn't it? Hundred percent, it was Leon. We do an extra research here, don't we? If I just want to connect. Do you know it was Leon? Screw it. It was actually Leon. All right. They got knocked out of the Champions League. Mm-hmm. And the following morning. Hold on, hold on. Before you answer that question, you know, what do you think about Celtic? Because right? Celtic, one of their players... I don't really watch Celtic that Listen, listen. Well. No, but we, we've got to answer this question. Mm-hmm. One of their players went to Spain, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. He came back from Spain. He played in a match, yeah, right? And he didn't let the rest of his teammates know that he'd just gone to Spain. He was supposed to be uh, put away for about 14 days, keep away from everyone. Tested. Tested, tested. right? Uh, <coughs> due to this COVID-19, yeah. By the way, ladies, to, and, oh, sorry. By but the way he, ladies and gentlemen, it's like 32 degrees, go on. Yeah, he was supposed to do that, right? But he didn't do that, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Which put the whole risk of his team and his t- and teammates at risk. What do you think of that? Do you think he was right to do that? No. I generally think, what is it? You should have told people, you know, that, okay, that you should have gone to Spain because, what is it? You know, you're coming from Spain. That's a, that's a country that could have the virus or not. Well, the, fir- the first... Mi- Stop, yeah, but the first minister of Scotland, yeah, she's now looking to... She's Saying to everyone, has got a, they're role models. They need to fucking be more fucking disciplined in what they're doing, and not just disappear to but Spain hap- and bugger off. But that's happened. But that's okay. It has, it, there's another example that's happening. Remember Jack Grealish? Yes. He made a video. He told everyone to stay safe, sit in your house. We can beat this virus together. What did yes. my man do? He, he goes to his friends. He goes to his friend's house and he crashes his car. Yes. He, but he literally again, broke. He literally broke down lockdown yeah, rules himself. Yeah, but the thing about so we don't really have. Yeah, but the thing about role mo- he's supposed to be a role model. All the young people for the band Aston Villa. He's the captain for Aston Villa. But this he's situation is slightly right. different. I read that in the Sun, by the way. No, but this is slightly different because he's he's still in this country. This guy went out to Spain, right? Oh yeah, he actually left. He left the country, right? And he went to a, a, an area where it was freaking, you know, code was being rife. Right. So he came back, he played in a match, and he didn't let the, his, his teammates know or his manager know that he'd just come back from holiday. So, you know, but so the, the Scotland, or how can I say, uh, people, a lot of people in Scotland are upset because they, want, they, they feel that he should be panic, punished he or sacked or sat from his job. He should, cause I, he, don't, I don't think he should be sacked from his job, but I, sh- I think he should be heavily fined. I don't think, I think, I, I think he should be fired. I think he should. I don't know. think he should be fired. I think he I should, should be, be fired. No, no, no. I think, I think he should be heavily fined. And he shouldn't play like a number. Of, he, should. he shouldn't play for the rest of the season. I, th- I think he should be fired. This is, this is why. He should be fired because think about it. You've gone to Spain, right? Yeah. You've gone to a country where, you know, a person could have the virus or not, right? Yeah. Let's say they had COVID. You're coming back to COVID, right? In Spain, right? You're coming back. You've gone from Spain, right? You're yes. going back into Scotland, right? Yes. You could potentially ha- be positive with the, co- was it the coronavirus. Yes. And you're spreading that towards the players can then spread to the fans which can then spread to the people in the public all right it's true so when you actually deep it it's actually a very very serious matter because oh, things course it is. Like wildfire. Yes. Yeah. so i don't think he should just get fined for i think he should get fined and he should get punished because he should know better and it's not like listen right he's been in his house right mm. unless you've been living in a cave or whatever yes people you know that celebrities right and maybe other influencers right yes have slightly broken down lockdown rules uh-huh. people People out there are having parties. It's ridiculous. Exactly. People in England and all over the world have broke down lock, lockdown rules. Yes. Which is actually stupid. They've had parties. They've had what, low, low keep, uh, was it, uh, parties. Mm. I think with the Arsenal players, what they broke rules as well.